the ex aqua in out two little fishies three years later working great it's awesome um never got a clog on it uh, the grade is awesome i don't know if you can hear this it's extremely quiet although you will lose the fluctuation of the back and forth that that kind of went away after like the first couple of months so here is my intake and here is the overflow i had to change out the pipe that was originally that i bought it was like a kit that you can buy it's a very specific uh type of hose the problem i had though and this is i'm gonna say it's mostly my fault so these hard ridges in between this material is actually very weak and it will tear so two little fishies has a much thicker uh, nylon material in between these hard ridges than your standard standard pond hose liner that you would get like at Home Depot or uh, at a pond store. So the quality is fairly good, but after time, um, I don't know. I I don't believe it's degrading because of salt water or anything like that. I believe what's happening was that I had a sump. Um, that came with my CAD lights that didn't have permanent hose entry points. And I'll show you what I mean. So what's happening, I upgraded my sump to this Fiji Cube sump, which is awesome. I love this sump. But what you'll notice is most sumps has permanent holes here and they go into a cavity back there where it overflows and pushes water out into where your filter socks are. If you don't have that, what you end up doing to change socks is that uh, you'd have to like move these hoses every time you want to pull the sock out. And that's what I was doing. And because of that, it was rubbing up against this ridge here and over time, it tore and started leaking. So I had to replace it. And luckily what I've done is I got the new sump and now I don't ever touch these hoses. And so you definitely need a proper sump that has the permanent placement for the hoses that you do not need to touch. So if there is some way to hard plumb it, that would probably be the most ideal scenario. In any case, that's the update um, for the Zaqua in out or X Aqua in out um, from Little Fishies. I love it. It's been working great in terms of the overflow and the uh, and the return. The actual um, overflow itself is quite easy to clean. It's you know this thing just pops off. You will get growth inside here, of course. That's with anything. Bacterial film would grow on it. Um, you could get algae and stuff if you want. If you don't, uh, you know, keep an eye on it. But other than that, it's working great. So it's been three years. It's working great. I have been dosing Vibrant, so that's one thing that actually has been helping a lot. Um, maybe I'll do another video on that, but just for the quality of this particular uh, product, it's awesome. And actually, I would buy it again. Just wish it wasn't so expensive, um, but I definitely would buy it again. Um, it's just a really nice kind of setup to kind of quickly get a uh, overflow. It's not so bad. The, the actual depth itself is about a couple of inches, so it's pretty shallow. Um, really hard plastic. I mean, this is super thick, and I definitely know because I actually had to cut through it because I actually flipped the um, the side and I actually drilled it upside down by accident. Um, I didn't follow the template. I should have been reading the instructions. Um, so I did have to split the two, but it allows you to do that. So you didn't, you don't have to keep these these pieces together because it comes as one solid unit. If you wanted to, you can actually cut it in half like I did, and actually move your return way over to one side and the and the actual um, overflow off to the other side, or anywhere else that you want. So it's a really cool system. It's very flexible, um, and it, to be honest, I, I I find it a lot easier to install this system than I did some of the manual overflows that I've, I've done on some smaller tanks. So when I had the file fish in here and I just got him, he was maybe the size of a nickel. Um, I wish I can find him. He's hard to see. You know, he's tucked under there. 
So now he's about the size of a silver dollar, so, and he's pretty fat, so he can't really, well, maybe if he wanted to, he could force himself into these slots, but um, what I did was I just put a knitting material that's plastic that you can pick up at uh, Walmart or uh, Michael's um, or Hobby Lobby, and just kind of cut a piece that kind of fits in there. It's black, it still has the holes in it. It works great. So I wouldn't be putting a file fish or something that's gonna fit in here because that's a good, uh, that's a good eighth of an inch um, between each of these slots. So something very small that can fit in there is definitely gonna wanna hide and sprint into this and end up in your sump. So, but other than that, it's, yeah, great system. So it's worked out fairly good on, on that front. Yeah, so let me know if you have any questions about it. Um, I will try to do better quality videos. I know I'm, I'm really just using my iPhone here uh, and I don't have any filters, but I will try to do some updates on the, um, the cleaning out of all of these mushrooms. I haven't done that yet. Um, life kind of got in the way, so I didn't get a chance to do that. So I will film that so we can kind of see how that goes. And then um, any other updates, like for instance, the, the large Kenya tree over here, I haven't done anything with that. So I haven't done that work yet. I will get to that soon, hopefully. So anyways, hopefully this guys, um, well this, hopefully this helps you in terms of understanding the uh, X Aqua in out system. And this is a three year review still works great. I wish I had a better hose. I wish it was a hard plumbing option. So, all right. So I hope everyone's having a great day and I hope you have a great uh, rest of your week. And uh, please like, subscribe, share this. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And yeah, good times. All right.